Hey, what's up, you guys? Stoutmeister here, and today's toast is dedicated to Monica Punk's long-lost cousin. And if you don't know who I'm referring to, then check out my commentary I did on her, which will be in the very informative video description down below. And to give you a short summary of what Monica Punk's cousin is all about, she is this woman that is 25 stone, which is about 350 pounds. And the similarities between Monica Punk and Christina Briggs is that they both are on welfare. But the difference here is that she's not talking about not wanting to get a job. However, this fat pig is talking about how she needs more taxpayer money. In other words, we need the government to raise our taxes more and more so that we can fill the wants of these fat sacks of shit. Taking all the welfare, abusing the welfare system, making it harder for people to actually get the welfare that they actually need, stuffing their fat fucking stomachs. And before anybody comments on this video, tells me that I'm a fat shamer and pulls the whole body positive hashtag bullshit in the comment section below, let's make one thing perfectly fucking clear, you bastards. And be sure to get some Q-tips and other shit to clean out your fucking ears as well. I am not shaming all fat people. Just the fat sacks of shit that are lazy that don't want to take the time to lose the fucking weight for their own health benefits. Not only that, but the ones that have kids. And oh my god, these are one of the worst types of people out there because they're being so fucking selfish that if they were to die, then who would these kids be left with? Along with that reason, there are other reasons why fat pigs such as this are completely selfish and should not be allowed to have kids of their own if they're going to commit such selfish actions. But you know what? That would take way too long to explain all that bullshit, so I'm not going to get into that right now. Let's get back to this news article right here. Now, Christina Briggs, she is a 26-year-old single mother of two children. She has a 10-year-old daughter and a 2-year-old son. Now, she gets around 20,000 pounds per year, and if you were to calculate that in U.S. currency, that's around $32,500 a year annually that she's getting from the hard-working taxpayers over there in Wigan, England. Like Monica Punk, this person has the gall to say that she needs all this taxpayer money. And this person even goes so low as to say that she would use this extra taxpayer money to buy fresh foods and have a gym membership, as quoted in the news article right here. Now, it's good to have fresh foods, obviously, for health reasons. However, there is a little thing called portion control that applies to any food you eat at all. Does that word register in that brain of yours? I highly fucking doubt it. Also, as far as gym membership goes, you don't need a gym membership to lose a lot of that weight at all. You can go for a walk around your neighborhood, you can run. I mean, the outdoors is a pretty big fucking environment as it is, and yeah, a lot more room to run and walk than inside of your home, but yeah, that's a great way to lose all the weight. And also, you're focusing on cardio which is a bit more important than bulking up with weights. And you go as far as to complain about swimming at a facility that charges you a monthly fee to go swimming there. As this article says, I tried swimming, but it cost 22 pounds a month, and it meant I had to cut back on my favorite pizza and Chinese takeaways. Oh, boo fucking who? And you have the nerve to complain about how you're 25 stone, aka 350 pounds, and you have the nerve to say that you want all this taxpayer money because in reality you're gonna hoard this money into your junk food foundation and hide under the facade that this is going to a better healthy environment for you, your kids, going to healthy foods and all this other bullshit. As I was reading into this article more, I noticed that they bring up her kids some more. Particularly her daughter, who is Helena, she's 10 years old, and it talks about how she has attention deficit hyperactive disorder, or ADHD, and has issues with her kidneys. 
Now, I don't want to jump into conclusions or anything like that, but are you sure it's just a mere coincidence that she has these issues? Or is it the very fact that she's ADHD because of all the sugar that she intakes from the junk food that she eats every single day at that house, as well as having kidney problems because of the junk food as well? You can get all sorts of health problems from eating nothing but junk food, especially when you are so fucking young. It, it is very crucial for children to get good food for them. It's very crucial. It helps them grow. It, it helps them out later in life. I, I don't need to explain how it helps out. It's just very crucial, especially at very young ages, to eat healthy foods, as much healthy foods as humanly possible. But this... This whole ADHD and kidney excuse, I feel bad for the fucking kid. And fuck you for even saying that you need to earn one pound for every pound you lose. How about this little proposal? If you don't lose the 350 pounds within two to five years, how about you have your kids taken away from you? Because they don't deserve to live in an environment that is unhealthy for them. From food to unhealthy home in general. They don't deserve that bullshit. And what would be worse is if you died and they had no one to go to and they ended up in foster care. That would be on you. Considering the fact that you're not sitting here trying to do anything about it. You're sitting on your lazy ass asking for taxpayer money. You want the government to actually give you an incentive. Which will more than likely make the government raise the taxes over in that town just to support people like you. We already have this issue in America where we have a lot of people abusing the wel welfare system for bullshit fucking reasons. It's becoming more hard for people that actually need welfare to get it because of people like this. And this issue has to fucking stop. There has to be more testing in order to get any welfare problem. I'm talking about a psyche test. I'm talking about drug tests. If you have to have a drug test to get a job, hell, I had to get a drug test for the job that I'm currently working. If you have to do a drug test to get a job, then why the fuck should you not be able to get a drug test applying for welfare? That should apply for your case as well, as well as the psyche test to make sure you won't relapse when you lose all that weight. Just to make sure you are healthy enough yourself so that you can help take care of your kids. Because your kids deserve to live in a healthy environment. They don't need all this fucking junk in their bodies. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have junk food at all. I have junk food from time to time myself, but again, it's that little term we like to call portion control. Some people know this better than others, but yeah, just fuck. Why do people like this exist? Why are they allowed to exist? What? Why do they haunt my fucking mindset? Why? 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 Oh, and I almost forgot the whole every healthy food is expensive. How about yogurt? How about rice? How about potatoes? How about frozen vegetables? I I'm not saying that all healthy foods are inexpensive, but those are just a few examples of healthy foods that are cheap. And I'm just going to leave some links for those in the description down below, just so you can get a general idea of healthy foods that are cheap and you can make and serve your kids and serve yourself, and as well as for anyone else that's living in America or living anywhere else and is using this same bullshit excuse as this fat piece of shit is using. Just, yeah. Yeah, Christina Briggs, congratulations. Congratulations for being a contributor to making the welfare system even harder for people that actually need the welfare system. Congratulations. Fucking cunt. That's all I really have to say for this video, you guys. And as we always do on this channel, we are going to end this video with a toast. Give your own shut the fuck up lines in the comment section below because I'm a comment whore like that. And cheers, motherfuckers. Today's thirst quencher is brought to you by Green Tea.
which is also a healthier type of drink you can drink as well. It is fucking amazing. That's all I can say about that. Now stay tuned for more videos. Take care. See you later. Cueing epic orgasmic music now.